boy, is heating up with the 76ers. Come on back. So we can talk about it. Uh, pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act good to stretch quick. Pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act good to stretch quick. Yo, 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 what is up, what is up? It's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back. I'm in the building with another video. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it's your first time here ever. It's Key in the building, YouTube page. I suggest you hit that bell for all your notifications, let you know when I go live and upload videos such as this one. I got y'all covered, brothers, the Sixers, Eagles, Phillies, and those Flyers. Now, let's get into it. The Sixers only has three games left um, before playoffs start. We did clinch. The fourth seed we're in, can nothing else change? We can not be in the playoffs. We're in. So these last three games, Indiana, the Pistons, and then Indiana again. So we played Indiana twice and then the Pistons again. What are we going to do? Are we going to sit Joel and James out, wait to the playoffs, let them be fresh? Or is Embiid going to play for a little bit and then sit down? We don't know. But... The rumors that's going around today is potentially, could Doc Rivers be fired? Could this be his last stint as coach here at the Philadelphia 76ers? There's reports going around saying that the Lakers are interested in Doc Rivers and the Utah Jazz. Now, the Lakers are getting rid of, they're going to let Frank Vogel go. So, the Doc going back to L.A. to be with the Lakers? Now, we all know Doc Rivers has made some very, very interesting lineup adjustments, whatever you want to name it. It's, his coaching has been very questionable as of lately. Why he don't want to play the young guys. Why he leaves the bench in too long. Or he doesn't challenge plays. Or you leave Paul Millsap in the game against Giannis Antetokounmpo and he scores 17 straight points and you make no adjustments. You make no adjustments whatsoever. So we're just all confused as Sixers fans as to why you're doing the dumb stuff. But if the Sixers don't go further into the playoffs, I honestly do believe Doc will be on a hot seat. Can he be fired or are they going to give him one more chance next year to possibly get to the NBA Finals? But we don't know. But the way Doc is coaching and he's not making adjustments, I see another second round exit yet again. That's just me. I don't know how about how y'all feel about the playoff run. I, if, if Doc continues to make these calls and, and questions, I see another second round exit. I don't see us getting to the NBA Finals or Eastern Conference Championship just on his coaching alone. I wasn't a big fan of, uh, well, in the beginning, I was a big fan of Doc. I'm like, okay, maybe he can hold some accountability for AKA Ben Simmons, who's no longer here. But as y'all see, he's still not playing. Thought he was going to hold some accountability. And we all see how that worked year one, year two. Still the same. So we don't know what's going on there. But let me know what you think in the comments. Is Doc Rivers going to be leaving to go somewhere else? And who else would you want here as a coach? If Doc Rivers does get fired, who do you want as a coach of the Philadelphia 76ers? Do you take one of the assistants, make them as a coach, or do you just completely find some new? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's key, and I'm always in the building. See y'all in another video.